a few years ago, friends were asking me for a black Jamaican rum with character. And I went to Jamaica, looked around. I found the Worthy Park Distillery up in the mountains that's been around since 1670. And they make their own rum uh, from locally grown sugarcane, sugarcane grown on that plantation. Uh, I buy rum from them. It's a blend of light, very light and heavy Jamaican rum. And then I bottle it as a, in a black uh, version and a gold version. The only, two dif the only difference in these two is the caramel coloring. Uh, the gold is a gold tint caramel, the black is a black tint caramel. The heavy rum component is a very small rum component. Uh, it, in Jamaica, they bottle a similar rum at 64% alcohol as their Jamaican overproof to compete with Conquering Lion or Gray and Nephew overproof, which is 63% alcohol. Their rum bar rum is 64% alcohol. To show you a little bit about the caramel, this is the black tint caramel. We'll put a couple of drops in here. And then I'm going to stir it with my trusty swizzle stick. And you can see it doesn't take much. It hasn't even dissolved on entirely. It doesn't take much to really give it a lot of color. Um, when you taste this, it tastes like water. It does change the viscosity in the mouthfeel just slightly, but it essentially tastes like water. If I didn't tell you it was in there and handed it to you and you didn't see the color of it, uh, you would think it was water. In alcohol, it does change the surface tension and does it change the aromas that come through. And side by side, you can notice a slightly different uh, aroma from the gold and the black rum. But I did these two because people were looking for a Jamaican rum with some character. So the black is black, the gold is gold tint. The black is a black Jamaican rum with character and the gold is a gold Jamaican rum with some character. Uh, the gold some people like because it doesn't tint the cocktail as much but in a tiki drink where you're using a ceramic mug uh, the black works really really well. You don't see it. With the caramel it is possible to add enough caramel so it would stain your teeth and turn your mouth black. Uh, in the gold people wanted to make daiquiris with this rum. There's a lot of flavor here and in a daiquiri the gold rum works really well. It looks a lot nicer in the glass than a black rum. So these are from Worthy Park. Again I bring them in in bulk at about 85 percent alcohol and then I dilute it to 93 proof and bottle it at 93 proof. It's colored at 93 proof so I dilute it and then it's colored. It's diluted with filtered uh, well water in upstate New York at the 5 and 20 distillery and then it's bottled there and then uh, labeled and shipped to the warehouse and distributed across the U.S. So that's the Hamilton Jamaican pot still black and gold.